If you're a fan of Edmonton Radio and you are trying to get 930 CJCA on your AM dial, it's off the air forever. Out of the blue, listeners were told this morning that the station's owners had decided to cut their losses and surrender their broadcasting license. Many people in the industry saw it coming. But as Valerie Oskowski reports, the closure was a surprise to staff and listeners. <laughs> Get a job, that's right, every Friday, and we've, we've been doing this here on Fridays, uh, get a job asking, asking folks to come in and give us their 30-second resume, so uh, we can do that now uh, internally. Uh, Andrea, you just did yours. Would, would you like, now that you've got some time to think about it, do a better job? Uh, all right, I've got uh, two years' experience. I've been here for about four months. Um, Andrea Engel and Doug Main are just two of the 33 CJCA employees who got their walking papers today. We knew it was coming, but uh, it hurts a little bit. It's the first time I've ever been laid off. So. Declining revenues are being blamed for the station's demise. Sources say CJCA had been losing an estimated $100,000 a month for the past two years. I just wanted to say it's sad to see a great station like this go. Yeah, it is too bad. These things happen. Uh, it's business, you know. And uh, I, I guess if, if you're the guy who's uh, taken a giant haircut on a radio station, you've got to do something. Yeah. And uh, so he did. Tough business decision, I'm sure, for Clint Forrester. And I guess I've just never had a failure until this one, and it's uh, not easy to, uh, to handle. Statement about speed traps, uh, if I can just quickly, that uh, it always bothered me. Some are handling the layoff notices with humor. Under the collector's sink. item right Under there. The Even the stain. Where are you, Mr. Eric? Well, if I got everything or what, I better take my pop gun, which will, will, will not be used. Okay. See you, kids. See ya.